Hey man, I just changed strings on this uh, Yamaha Acoustic FG331 and um, I tuned up the strings to what I thought sounded like correct pitch or in the range of, you know, just to get them roughed in without using a tuner or a pitch pipe or a tuning fork or a piano or any reference pitch. So. That's my estimation. I think it's a little flat. Um, now I'm going to test with the tuner and see how close I was. Probably not great, but probably in the ballpark. Whoa. A hair flat. Pretty dang close, actually. Yeah, man, it's dead on. Good. A little flat. flat bring it up a little sharp when it's sharp I just watch this see I just kind of put tug it here to make it go flat it's about right all right so that was a crazy so I just pulled that pitch out of the sky you know just woo out of my head so what I'm saying is I had a really interesting question about tuning and using a tuner, how do you know if you're an octave high or an octave low if you install new strings? Um, and my answer, you know, the guy said it was, hey, this is a stupid question, but I'm like, well, hey, if you took the time to ask the question, it's not stupid. And I answered in detail that we trained our ears before we had tuners, my buddies and I, when we were teenagers, we would uh, maybe get that off of a record, you know, some sort of a, or, that E sound, or A sound, like a James Gang, or, that A. So you kind of learn that A sound and it just resonates in your head. It becomes a memory. Uh, D would be the first note like Sweet Home Alabama. I'm going to turn my tuner back on just see if it's staying. It sounds flat. Just a hair. It was a micron flat. And here's G, like Freebird. Sounds sharp. No, it was good. All right, uh, B is like Jumpin' Jack Flash. And then you check your chords. E is like, uh, so I, I got the memory of every string in my head and my other one of my good buddies that fixes guitars for a living, he can do the same thing. If he's, he restrings guitars all day and he'll just like whip them into, just tighten up the strings, listen to it and get it, and he checks with the tuner he's right on. Pretty close. Um, I'm not always perfect with that, sometimes I'm flat. Uh, but I also listen to the chords when I tune, like, They always sound a little off. One problem is pressing too hard with your fretting hand. If you press hard, they'll go sharp. So don't crush it. You know, 
make sure your basic chords sound pretty good. All right, I got students coming, so I gotta go. I have 14 students coming today. It's kind of gonna be a little, a little bit of a big day. <laughs> All right, thanks for stopping by. Let me know what you think.